I think veterinary medicine is perhaps one of the most kid-friendly professions of all the medical arts. And I, I say that for several reasons. I think first and foremost, we have complete control over our schedule. We don't have an HMO or a hospital board sort of dictating the hours that we have to work and the patients we have to see and what we have to charge. So we have complete control of this. And so if an individual is willing to sort of work with another team member or team members, they can work mornings or afternoons or, or whenever it's appropriate for them and their lifestyle. Um, I think further, you know, this, this control of sort of what we do and see um, extends to the types of caseloads that we may be energized by. So if you're worried about burnout, I mean, you need to do the things that really excite you, that you have passion for, as opposed to just, you know, every day doing vaccinations and spays and neuters. You can make this profession whatever it is you want it to be. But getting back to the kid-friendly thing, I think as we see more and more females enter the profession, which now the 80% of the vet schools have, you know, female enrollment, then we're going to have to also be aware that they have different needs, perhaps, and they may want more time off to be with family. And how do we avoid burnout? And how do we allow them to have a fulfilling personal life? All of these are challenges that have real solutions. I mean, we've experienced them in our own practice. I would encourage each and every person out there to sort of take a look back and say, don't let these external uh, pressures dictate what you do. Say, what do I need? And then how can I give back as much as I can? And then those are my priorities and, and stick to it. Because you can really, this profession is awesome in allowing you to do whatever it is you truly want to do and you're passionate about. I think that owners also have great flexibility in what they do. Certainly it's different demands. I mean, I'm going to have to do more human resources and business management skills, maybe than just client interactions. But for me, I'm able to create a schedule that works very, very well for my lifestyle. I do a lot of things outside of veterinary medicine, so I can't imagine another job that would allow me this type of freedom and autonomy. Again, there's no third party influencing what I do. There's no board. I don't have to report to somebody to ask their permission. If I want to be do more with cardiology, I can do that. I just go study, get the tools and can do this. If I want to do more surgery, I can do that. And I love this because it keeps me energized, engaged, and I don't feel burnt out or anything. You know, I've been doing this for over 16 years and I'm just excited today, if not more so than the day I graduated.